Hey, good evening, XL Volleyball Club. Look what I have right here, man. These things are hard to get. I got Clorox wipes and I got some Lysol spray. And guess what they're supposed to kill? The COVID-19 coronavirus. And you know, we're laser focused in on this right now. And that's what we're supposed to be. The government's got us some instructions. They're telling us how to live, what to do to make this thing go by as fast as it can and minimize any kind of casualties, damage, things like that. And this is part of it. And I'm gonna continue to do this as well. But we're laser focused in on this. I mean, every time I go outside, every time I come in, every time I do anything, man, I wash my hands and I wipe down stuff and I'm focused in on it. And I ask myself, what if we, you know, focused in on Jesus like that? And at a time like this, that's exactly what we need to do. What if we focused in on Jesus like we do on these wipes and these sprays? Dig in his word, see what he has to say. And right now, there's not a better time in the world for us to do that with us all being relegated to the house for the most part. So, hey, let's dig in his word. And we're going to dig in it a little bit tonight, too, and talk about anxiety and ways to combat that and give you some practical applications for your life. Because right now, there's a lot of fear. You know, you guys, juniors and seniors, you know, prom. Am I going to miss my prom? Seniors, graduation. or Are we going to be able to walk? Um I'm missing my spring sports. I'm missing my middle school sports, my high school sports. We're not able to play this club volleyball anymore right now. We're not able to go to practice. We're not having interaction with anybody. We're having to interact through social media, through things like this. And it's got me really worried. So I want to address some of that stuff tonight and give you some promises from God because as we find out in the Gospels, you know, Jesus is in the boat with us. That's a promise. Like when the disciples were in, the, Jesus got in the boat and said, we're going to go to the other side. Now, it didn't say that getting to the other side would be easy. Obviously, there was a big storm. The boat almost, almost capsized, water going everywhere, thunder, lightning. And Jesus simply says, they wake him up and say, Jesus, what are you going to do? We're going to die. He says, hey, peace be still. And the storm stopped and the water calmed. And they did make it to the other side, but they had to go through some storms to get there. Now, he's in our, we're going through a storm right now. This virus, your uncertainty about your future, some of you getting recruited, you know, like I just talked about, prom, graduation, your seasons, what's going on, family members not having a job right now, uh, somebody has a compromised immune system and you're scared to death, they get it in your family because you've been watching all the bad news. We're in a storm right now, but just Jesus is still in the boat with us. So take heart in that. But I do want to read you a couple of verses, and I'll do that right now. We'll give you some application on it. Philippians 4, verses 6 through 7. Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. A couple of pullouts on that. Number one. He says in every situation. This is one of those situations. It can be good situations or bad situations. In every situation, bring your petitions and your prayers to God. But he says do it with a thankful heart. So it's always, it's always a good idea to tell him what you're thankful for. If you still have money coming in, if you've got something to eat, good shelter, if you've got a place to get out and walk, if you've got things to do, if you've got people checking up on you, Hey, man, be thankful for that. Tell God the good stuff and then make your petitions known. Second thing out of this is awesome, too. What do you get out of it? It's real simple. The peace of God, which is way above our understanding. We talked about that last time a little bit when we talked about iron sharpening iron. That, hey, man, lean not on your own understanding, but lean on God's understanding because we have no clue what's going on on this side of eternity. We just have to trust that he's in the boat and he'll get us through it. Like we said before, warriors don't flinch. We're a family. We have strong work ethic and we're servant leaders for each other. And we're good friends. Iron sharpens iron. So that's the things that we had been talking about before. But this is a good promise from God right here. He will guard our hearts and minds. So during all of this, he promises us. Pray that promise back to him. God. Guard my heart and my mind. Give me a peace about this. Give me peace in the middle of this storm. Dear God, I know you're in the boat, and I know we're going to get to the other side. What a wonderful promise from two small verses right there. Let me give you a couple, well, not a couple, but about five things you can do as we close out here that will help you 
with your anxiety and stress during a time like this. Exercise vigor vigorously every single day. Keep yourself in shape. Be creative with it. You know, I was outside yesterday curling a five-gallon five gas can that I have out in the garage. And I go out and I run through the apple orchard that I live in. Push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, you name it. Anything you can do to stay in shape. Plus, that's one of the top ways to deal with anxiety and stress is get moving vigorously and do it every single day. Won't come back void. Second thing, eat well-balanced meals. Eat as healthy as you can snacks. Don't sit around and eat because you're bored. Just eat well-balanced meals and eat snacks, but just don't sit around and eat because you're bored or because it's just something to do. Another thing you need to do is get enough sleep. Now, teenagers, that doesn't mean just lay around and sleep all day long. That can be unhealthy. I'm talking about your eight to nine, ten hours tops of good sleep at night and not just laying around all day. Get up, be productive, do your schoolwork, exercise. And the last thing I want you to do here is check on other people. Be a servant leader. I've got it right here. Love your neighbors. Mark 12, 31. Love your neighbor as yourself. That's biblical. When you're doing for others, the focus is not on you. And when the focus is not on you, the anxiety and the stress disappear because you're focused on helping others. And that's what XL Volleyball Club needs to do. Your team, your club, your family life, your church life, your FCA group. Hey, you need to be checking up on each other like we talked about last time. Hold each other accountable. Be dependable. Be honest with each other. That's, that's a good way to get rid of this anxiety and stress going around, going around with all this virus scare. Um, also, Steve wanted me to remind you of something. He wanted me to throw these three things in here that he always says to you guys. So I'm going to end up with this. He said, always maximize your abilities, relentlessly pursue continued improvement, and minimize on your mistakes and errors. Now, that's a good way to live your life. You're not going to be perfect, but, boy, you can really relentlessly pursue that. So as we close out, I just want you to know that God's got this. In all these uncertain times, keep your focus on God. He's in the boat with us. That is a promise. And you can. God always keeps his promises. Not once has he ever not delivered on a promise. So pray those promises back to him. And I'll close us out in prayer. This one will be up Monday. And then we will do one every two weeks for you. And you'll be able to find it at the same YouTube place. W. NCFCA, all caps. And also, I've got mine and Steve's emails written down. I'm going to tell them too, but if you ever have any questions, uh, have any faith questions, faith journey questions, questions, anything you want to talk about, bjlauder at fca.org and sjmcnamara at fca.org. And we'd be happy to answer anything for you. XL Volleyball Club, stay together. Check up on each other. And God bless. I'll close this in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for XL Volleyball Club. We just pray that they would continue to be warriors that don't flinch, dear Lord. But like the banner says in their gym during this uncertain time, we pray for their families. Dear Lord, we pray that we'd be smart during this time, dear Lord, and we would do what the government says to keep ourselves safe to where we don't affect others, dear Lord, and that your will be done that we would not lean on our own understanding, dear Lord, but understand that you are in the boat with us. You will get us to the other side. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, love you guys. See you next time.